so I'm kind of on a rant for the last few days. Um, first of all, have you guys ever had a uh, best friend who just goes somewhere and then tells you that they're going to be somewhere and then they end up having people call you because they're looking for them and then they don't haven't told anybody where they're going so they end up calling the, like their best friend. Okay, well I've had that simu I've had that situation all weekend. My best friend and I had graduation practice on Friday, last Friday, the Friday that just passed. So we went down to Old Town St. Charles. Well, we were fine, and I thought she was going home. So I get a call from a relative of hers telling me that she hasn't been home yet and that she needs to come home. So I automatically call her boyfriend and ask her if, ask him if he's with, she's with him. Turns out she is. Which she told me she was going home. So, I was like, okay. I'm not going to get real pissy over it. I'm just going to let it go. So the next day, I get a call from another one. Her same rel the relative that called me before. Asking where she is. It's like 8 o'clock at night and I haven't seen her. So... I text her boyfriend, he's not answering me, I text one of our other friends, and she answered and said that she was at the hospital, so I was like, okay. So today she didn't talk to me, and I was like, okay, if you're mad at me, fine, I don't know what you're mad at me about, but okay. One thing you don't want to do is post the evidence that you weren't really at a hospital or you weren't with somebody that I don't like. That's... And I know it was recently because, uh, hello, it was put on not that long ago. So if you're going to lie to my face, at least don't put the evidence of it on YouTube. So you guys know that I go to anime conventions, and you know that my friends go to anime conventions with me. Me and my best friend have always planned anime conventions. She decides to go behind my back and choose one of our other friends to plan conventions with. Again, if you're going to do it, do not put it on YouTube. I think that's one of the dumbest things that you could ever do. Is say that you haven't done something, record it, and then put it on freaking YouTube when I'm subscribed to your channel and I get everything that you put up. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, that's not that complicated to get wrapped around your brain. If you're going to do something and you don't want to tell somebody, don't put it on YouTube where everybody can see it, especially that person. I'm just so flabbergasted right now. It's Plus, if you're not going to talk to me during the whole day, at least don't have a headphone out at my side, like the way that I'm talking to you, because then I know you can hear me, you just don't want to respond. And next time I ask you where you were, and I'm being like really alarmed or worried, you need to answer. Because quite frankly, that's what pisses me off the worst. Is when I ask a question and nobody gives me a freaking answer. So you know what? Next time don't post your fucking evidence on YouTube. 
Don't post it on Facebook. Don't post it on YouTube. Don't post it on Tumblr. Don't post it on Twitter. Because I am on all of those. At least, if you want to keep it a secret, put it on a website that I'm not on. I mean, Jesus. You act like nobody can see it. You act like I can't see it. But when you put it up, and you subscribed me to your channel by logging into my YouTube, that's not okay. I don't care what you do on the weekends, as long as you tell me the truth. I thought we were best friends. But apparently, every time I try and be best friends with you, you end up going behind my back. And it, quite frankly, it's pissing me off. Because I thought after we had that one situation, we would be fine. But no. And you may think I'm being overdramatic. Are you serious? When you were mad at me, you didn't talk to me for like three days. And I put up with it because I was your best friend. But you going behind my back and asking other people to plan stuff with you, and going behind my back and telling me a straight up lie, then posting the evidence on YouTube, that is not okay. I don't know in what world you thought that was okay, but it's not. And I don't care if you see this. I don't care if you get mad at me. I don't care anymore, okay? Because quite frankly, I could care less. Because of all the shit that I've been through to be your best friend, and all the crap, I am still there for you. I'm always there for you. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. I am always there for you. I don't care if I was like this little wimpy freshman in high school and you were the only one that would stood up for me. I would have gotten tougher and I would have fended for myself. And if you say, fine, then we're not friends anymore, I could care less right now. Because of the way that you've been treating me, and the way that you have been hiding things from me. I really don't give a damn. So if you have anything to say, you better say it to my face. Because I'm sick and tired of this bullshit.